Uh, I'll put that back in before we start. Um, well, well, nailed it. Not some stuff off my bench. Oh, that piece is still over there somewhere. Yay, let's play. Oh yeah, there we go. Let me know how the volume is for you guys too. So this is what we're up to. Rachel's home. And she um, brought her new friend. Our star returns. You're just in time. Dinner's almost ready. Chloe, was it? It is. Nailed it. I must have been pretty memorable. You were. I get the sense that you're used to making an impression. Rachel, honey, you were resplendent tonight. Thanks. Chloe, you must join us for dinner tonight. Uh, she must? I <laughs> must? Of course. I made chicken a la king. I'm sure you both acted up quite the appetite. That's just leaving. Thanks, but I, I was just gonna stop in for a sec and then bounce. Oh, did you have other dinner plans? Dinner plans i always thought dinner was something that just sort of happens <laughs> chloe i know we didn't exactly meet each other at our best this morning but with you and rachel becoming such fast friends i insist you join us for dinner don't you agree rachel yes of course chloe would you join us for dinner please <laughs> <laughs> of course great i just need to wash off then I'll be right down. Don't be long. In meantime, perhaps you can help me with the table, Chloe? Sure thing, <laughs> Mrs. Amber. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna go pack. After dinner, we can make our break. You cool down here? Hurry back. Just hurry back. I don't know how long I can keep this up. <laughs> Try doing it your whole life. <laughs> Chloe, we just need to make it. Sorry. That was a big one. Yeah, okay. Perhaps. What could possibly go wrong? Mm -hmm. I haven't read any of these. You ever sent head to someone guts, but then later felt bad because you found out they're actually cooler than you saw it? Yeah, me neither. So she writes her journal to Max. That's cute. Drew's okay, Mikey will text you an update in a bit. Oh shit, tell him I'm both pulling for him. That's right, that sounded a bit weird. <sighs> Wait. Did we miss something there? No, just a look. Oh, 
gold. What? Literal or illiterate? Eh? Solved it. Whoops. We ruined that crossword. I thought we were going to help. Hey there, Mrs. Amber. Chloe, I'm so glad you're joining us tonight. You borrowed that shirt from Rachel. We call it the Rorschach shirt. What do you see? I see both. Uh, I guess I see a bird. That's the outline, but the well, skull's on the inside. inside. So, Rachel was pretty awesome tonight. Yes, she was. Though, to be fair, she's pretty awesome every night. I wish I were half as driven when I was her age. Me too. <laughs> I get the sense that you're a force of nature yourself. I can <laughs> see why the two of you get along so well. You can? Because it still seems crazy to me. Uh, what did you think of the play? Rachel was typically amazing, but I never liked The Tempest. What did you think of it? To be honest, I only really read a couple pages. Theater's not really my thing. I guess I'm not so into saying words someone else came up with. Fair point. Then again. I'm not sure you can judge the entire art form based on the dead white men your curriculum focuses on. Damn. Shots fired, Shakespeare. Integrity, honesty, loyalty. What? It's on your lawn. Oh, right. Sorry. I guess I'm still getting used to being an elected official's wife. Mm -hmm. Those are some strong words. You think he lives up to them? He's fantastic at what he does. Of course, he's only human. Or subhuman. What? What? I, I thought you said something. Uh, nope. Setting the table! So, you putting me uh -huh. to work, or what? Yes. If you could please take four plates from the cupboard and set them on the table. Uh, what if I can't? Excuse me? You said if I could. Never mind. You're a riot, Chloe. All right, Chloe. You've set the table without ruining someone's marriage before. Piece of cake. That was awkward. How, where are the plates? Yes, Chloe? So, am I crushing it? This dinner would be taking literally minutes longer without you. Crushing it. I haven't done anything. Plates. No skeletons. Lots of shiny dishes, though. She's out of surgery in pain, but okay. Holy shit, Mikey, I'm so sorry. It's okay, you stuck with me. I wish I could have helped more. Hey, Steph says you're in the play. What? I've had a busy day. Most heroes do. Aww. Aww, Mikey. It's off to the table with you. Hmm. 
mom. Everyone's type since. Sorry, Justin Williams' mom just called me. Were you on the play tonight? I would have liked to see that. None of this happened. I know I was kind of last minute. I'm glad you're doing well. It would be nice to see you tonight. Are you coming home? Please, Chloe, I miss you. We're going to try and not come home tonight, that's for sure. Glasses. Damn. The Ambers are fancy as shit. Are we supposed to take them? No. Never realized that getting drunk could be so complicated. Okay, maybe we should close that one if we're not actually getting any. No, okay, we're gonna leave it open. Yes, Chloe? Plates? Check. Anything else? Actually, could you be a dear and ask Mr. Amber what he'd like to drink with dinner? I will be a dear. Talking to James. As long as I can avoid using the words cheating and scumbag, I should be fine. Hiya, Mr. Amber. Chloe, what can I do for you? What do you think? I thought Rachel was perfectly cast. She certainly was. We're very proud of her. I had no idea they were going to do that. Do what? I don't know the name for it. Uh, reverse casting? Casting a, a woman as a man? Oh, I just meant the wizard part. Ah, uh, I suppose that's also true. Drink? <laughs> What's your vice, Mr. Amber? I'm sorry? Your wife wants to know what kind of drink you're having. Ah, let's say sherry. Okay. One, two, three, sherry. Comical. They do not Chloe, like us. Maybe you can help me understand something. I'll give it a shot. Rose and I, we're worried about Rachel. Yesterday was so unlike her. What do you suppose is going on? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Besides all my bad behavior rubbing off on her, you mean? Hmm. Another joke. You tell me. It seemed like you and Wells were happy to believe that this morning. And you were all too eager to play into our expectations. In my experience, that's a tactic people use to cover for someone else. Rachel is her own person. She's responsible for her actions. Oh. I'd be lying if I said I didn't have concerns about your friendship, but perhaps you're exactly who Rachel needs right now as she navigates the choppy waters of adolescence. Uh, thanks. I was worried. At least we didn't say besides you that would have started something. Yes, Chloe? Sherry. The boss man would like a sherry. Thank you. The glasses are in the china cabinet. You can place one at his setting. How am I supposed to get to China? <laughs> Kidding. <laughs> it's the fancy looking cabinet, right? You got it. We are so trying too hard. Uh, it's the triangle shaped one. Basic shapes. <laughs> now you're speaking my language. Well, it's not really triangle. I assume 
he put he goes at the head of the table. <laughs> she just rub her butt on it. Now what do you want me to do? Yes, Chloe? What else? <laughs> Feel like I'm getting good at this. Only one last step. As our guest, you may do the honor of lighting the candles. The lighter is in the- It's cool. I've got my own. <laughs> oh. You never know when you'll need to light a candle. Right? You are a paragon of preparedness. Thanks. <laughs> I think. Time to light some candles and bust this joint up a bit. They are so passive aggressive. The Amber family and fire. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> What could possibly go wrong? <clears throat> so, Chloe, are you and Rachel in any of the same classes? <laughs> I wish. Rachel's all honors. I'm still trying to get into remedial... What's it called? Vocabulary. <laughs> what about that fire? <laughs> <clears throat> Dinner's really good, Mom. Thank you, Rachel. The way the fire spreads so fast, I've never heard of anything like it. Yeah, it's scary. After those floods upstate, I was overjoyed we had less rain this year. Who knew a spring drought could be even more dangerous? Ooh. You never know where a deadly spark will come from. It's certainly troubling. The latest report from the commissioner's office suggests arson. Arson? Why would anyone do that? Any number of reasons. With everything going on in the world today, even a town like Arcadia Bay isn't immune to the ills of society. I cannot imagine how difficult these last few years have been for you, Chloe. Now that you and Rachel have become friends, I want you to know that our home is always open to you. Cool. Thanks. Well said, dear. It's imperative in such troubled times as these that we remember what is most important to us. Family. <laughs> Family's not merely a gift. Oh. It is a responsibility. Oh. As such, those we love must be cared for and never, ever taken for granted. Oh. Um, Rachel. Uh, yeah, that's super true. And also remember, Rachel, that even when shit's like the lamest ever, you can always run away from whatever's bothering you. As long as you just keep calm. An interesting philosophy, Chloe. Yes, indeed. Not one that I would endorse, however. I favor confronting my problems head on. Oh. But to each their own, I suppose. Oh, fucking well, blow me. Oh. Rachel? Distract. Ah, crap. I I'm so clumsy. Uh, Rachel, can you come help me find another Stop fork? It. Uh -oh. I can't sit here and listen to this bullshit anymore. Rachel! Stop it, Dad. You're a hypocrite. Okay? I know. You lying, cheating piece of shit, motherfucker. Excuse me? We saw you yesterday at the Overlook. James? Kissing that woman. James. Rachel? Honey, whatever you saw or think you saw... I know it's hard, but I need you to trust me. Ooh. 
think okay. we saw? Are you trying to gaslight us? There's no thinking involved. We saw you locking lips with some other woman. Best part is, she and I use the same drug dealer. That's enough. You are not welcome here or around my daughter any longer. I know exactly what kind of person you are from the moment I saw you. And I let my wife's compassion get the better of you. Oh? What kind of person is a that? A delinquent. A broken girl from a broken home. That's enough, James. Oh. I will not have you continue to speak to her like Uh-oh. She's going to burn the house down, isn't she? Uh oh. What could possibly go wrong? Why can't you just tell me the fucking truth? Stop lying. Stop being a politician for one fucking minute. Welcome, Ashley. Can't you just be my dad? Rachel, that woman you saw, that wasn't my mistress. That was your mother. What? It's a bit of a bomb to drop on her. finish line and if you're still breathing you're the lucky one shit heaving through corrupted lungs setting fire to our insides for fun <laughs> collecting names of yeah we're doing okay how are you Yeah, good. I'm all right too. Oh, you new monitor? That's awesome! Yeah, I know, right? Time flies. I think we were still in hospital. Okay. You took the blame for Rachel. You refuse to empty your pockets. Most so most people emptied their pockets. What the hell? You stayed with Mikey. Most people stayed with Mikey. You asked Rachel for a kiss. Yeah. Most people did that too. What else? You attacked. Oh wait, no. This is back into a lake. Raven yard. Okay, cool. 
That must be the big one. Oh, it's working. Previously on Life is Strange Before the Storm. I felt like my dad was about Thank you. for a while. I just, I didn't know what it was. There is plenty of blame to go around. <sighs> what does that mean? You forced my hand. This is a consequence of your actions, Chloe. We both agree that the best thing for everyone at this stage is for me to move in. No! In years, I never thought you'd choose David over me. Hey! Black Hill's done with me. I can't go home anymore. Is this junkyard all I've got left? Drew runs Oxy for Damon. Go to Drew's room, find the money, and I'll meet you to pick it up. Whatever you do, don't open the door. Oh, I want my fucking money! Juliet is waylaid. That infernal inferno is the culprit, closing down the roads and robbing us of our aerial. No fucking chance. I swear to you, <laughs> we shall fly beyond this isle. The corners of the world are near prologue. What sayest thou to my most hopeful wish? Yes. Let's leave. For real. If you don't mean this, it's it's just making me feel like shit that this life you're describing isn't going to happen. What would it take to convince you? Why can't you just tell me the fucking truth? Rachel, that woman you saw, that wasn't my mistress. That was your mother. <laughs> I want to tell you <laughs> Hugs. But are you sure that Chloe should be here for Chloe stays. Of course. In every way that matters, Rose is my wife and your mother. But the woman you saw at the overlook, her name is Sarah. Your Birth mother. Oh. Why is he still making out with her? I'm going to tell you everything, Rachel. Everything I've shielded you from for so long. But the truth can be hard to look at. Is this really something you're ready for? Chloe. I'm here. I'm right here. Good. I need you. in high school there was one person everyone adored her teachers her friends Sarah was everyone's favorite every boy wanted to date her that's all good Ashley I barely believe it when she picked me. I'm proud of you for hearing affiliate sometimes I think that's what kept me blind for so long I missed that. Should we just watch that again? She was so beautiful. Oh. Just like you. She was uh -oh. so alive. So passionate about 
everything. Early on, though, I realized I wasn't enough for her. While the rest of us were pursuing college, careers, families, Sarah wasn't looking for any of that. She was looking for escape. Okay. I only saw what I wanted to see until it was almost too late. When Sarah became pregnant, I thought it would solve everything. And it did. For a little while. Yeah, hell yeah. Becoming your father was the greatest moment of my life. There was so much love, but I was still blind. Huh. This all feels like someone else's life. Huh. Whatever happens, Rachel, I'm here. Good girl, Chloe. However much she loved you then, it wasn't enough. For Sarah, the need to escape was always there. <coughs> oh no. For over a year, I tried to help her. I made myself believe that she was still a good person. That no matter what happened, She would never do anything to hurt you. I was wrong. Eventually, I saw her for who she really was. A destructive person. Someone who could never be satisfied. Anyone or anything, even the love of her own daughter. I was desperate. I didn't know what to do. So I made a choice. I was never going to let her harm you again. Whoa. Oh, you can't go and look at that one a second time. What you saw at the Overlook, Rachel, it was true. We kissed. It was the saddest kiss of my life. It was a kiss goodbye. I told her that I was happy for her. That she felt like she'd gotten her life together finally but she didn't get to just decide one day to be a mother not after what she'd done but after all the people she hurt all the lives she destroyed I told her she'd been given the greatest gift in the world chance to be your mother and she squandered it it pained me to hurt her like that but I'd do it again and again and again to keep you safe that's hectic So that was the first time you've seen her or spoken with her in 15 years? No. 
I send her money every single month. It's our arrangement. But now she wants to see me? Yes, but Rachel, it cannot be. Why not, if that's what Rachel wants? Drug addiction is a disease. It afflicts everyone, not just the addict. I will not allow you to be victimized by her disease again. Even if that's true, Rachel could still meet her. And maybe the, the fact that she wants to see me means she's gotten better. Maybe so. But consider that for 15 years, she's preferred that money to you. Rachel. I think I need to lie down. I can't leave Rachel to deal with this alone. Rachel? Oh. I need some way to show Rachel that I'm here for her. Hey, Rachel. I'm glad you're here, Chloe. Of course. Be here for Rachel. Is there a section on how to walk fours through batshit crazy family drama? No? I could get grades like this. I just don't want to. <laughs> Straight A student.
I know something Miss Arcadia doesn't. Weird. Um, oops. I think Rachel could use another subject. But which one? That's the one. <laughs> At least she'll have something from tonight. He saved one. Oh. Even you, Willie, couldn't come up with the tragedy Rachel's going through. <sighs> this light needs more light. <laughs> Needed. Wonder what I could find around here to brighten up that nightlight. The torch? for Rachel's light show. Better get her attention first. Oh, thank you. Same to you. I've seen you've been like killing it hey. with your streams. Check it out. It's beautiful. I thought you might like it. I've always loved stars. Why? They remind us there's so much beauty out there which we almost never see. Because we're blinded by what's in front of us. <laughs> exactly. But then I learned the truth. The stars we're seeing have already been dead for millions of years. They're all dead. Lies. But that doesn't make them any less beautiful, right? I don't know. If they're not even real, <laughs> I love you too, Ashley. What's the point? <sighs> it's all lies. Everything. <laughs> My entire life. My dad, <laughs> my mom, if I can even call her that anymore, and that other woman, my real mom, she's the biggest lie of all. I can't trust any of them. I think you're the only one in the world I can trust. Mm -hmm. I don't know. 
I bet there's like one other chick in Australia who's super trustworthy. Yes. No chance. <laughs> I wore this bracelet my entire life. I never even asked why. Never even thought about it. <laughs> Somehow, I think I always knew. Even when I didn't know. <laughs> that... My real mother was gone. Aww. The fact that she's here right now, that she came here for me. Oh, thank you, Ashley. Same to you, sisters. Oh, well, I don't know what she said to me. Let's say I don't know, I could leave the book. I have no idea what's right or wrong in this situation. I just know that whatever you decide, I'm in. But what if we can't find her? It's not like I can ask my dad. I have no idea where to start. I've got an idea. I think I know what to do. I'll call Frank and get him to connect us to her. You do that? Oh, you got a shot. cute nickname? What is it? Of <laughs> course, even if we know where she is, we need a way to get to her. I can't just ask my parents for a ride. I think I might be able to fix up that truck in the junkyard. <laughs> really? I'll give it my best. <laughs> I know you will. But even if we Aww. find her... <laughs> Thank you, Ashley. Her, You're such a sweet. What do I say? Uh, oh. I'll put that back in real quick. Ah, uh, you'll know. After my dad died, I was worried I wouldn't know how to talk to him anymore. But somehow, when we speak, I always know what to say. When you speak? In my dreams. He's there. It's so real. It's almost like it's another part of my life. It used to be the <laughs> okay. only part that mattered. Deal, Ashley. I've never told anyone about that. Weird, huh? Uh, Rachel? I was just thinking... Maybe I was wrong before. <laughs> Who cares if the stars are dead? As long as we can still see them, that means they're real. To us. Right? Right. They're not even looking at real stars, though. They're looking at the roof. Oh, I love you too, Ashley. <laughs> now what's happening? This one's weird. Dad, I 
think we're stuck. Hey, maybe you should let me drive. You always do it wrong. That was one time. When are you going to let it go? <laughs> Remember when we used to work on cars together? Those are some of my favorite memories. We never... That wasn't you. Hmm. Could have sworn that was me. All right, you win. Why don't you go take a look? You sure? What the hell? This is so weird. What's wrong? Don't you see anything? There it is. Fine. It's the spark plug. No, that's not it. I just had that replaced. Uh -huh. Isn't improv supposed to be all about yes and? Yes and what? Dad, stop. N none of this is real. You're not real. Ra Rachel's family isn't real. This whole thing, it, it's, it's all just theater. Well, you know what William Shakespeare said. Something about the whole world being a stage, so might as well act the fuck out of it. <laughs> Nailed it. But I don't want to be an actor. I just want to be myself. Aww. Give me a break. <laughs> hmm. Well, maybe there's a reason we pretend. Maybe the lies we tell each other are less horrible than the truths we keep hidden. Wow. That's pretty dark, Dad. Yeah. Where do you think you get it from? There's my cue. Every time he gets hit. Relax, sweetie. It's all pretend, right? Right. Just a bit of stage magic floodlights sound effects Chloe look at me look at me sweetheart it's going to be okay every time whoa That was intense. Oh, oh he's sneaking back into our own bedroom. What the shit? Has someone been going through my room? Doesn't seem like mom. She wouldn't leave a mess like this. Wait. Wow. David? That motherfucker. Whatever. I don't have time for this shit. I've gotta help Rachel. Okay. I saw Sarah leaving Frank's RV. He might know how to find her. He might also be totally pissed about Damon's money. 
I've got to get this exactly right. I can do this. We've still got that money, right? Oh, Frank. Eager much? Where's the money? Jeez, would you relax? I have it with me, okay? I'm coming to get it right now. I have a favor to ask you. You can't be fucking serious. I need to find that woman from yesterday. That's okay, so, Ashley. Frank? What the hell for? Something important. Can you help? I'm trying to help a friend. It would mean a whole lot to her. The girl with you at the mill? <sighs> yeah. I'll meet in the junkyard in two hours. And bring the fucking money. <sighs> Sweet. Thanks, man. You're a real... <laughs> that went well. I guess. Yes. What am I getting myself into? Exactly. Guess what? <laughs> okay, that. <laughs> Okay, I've got two hours to kill. A shower would be fucking amazing. Can't believe he trashed our room. Anyway. Um I'm trying. I'm gonna leave it as at we're gonna leave it there. Um